Good morning, students. This is Ms. Hernandez. Um, today, I'm going to be reading you a little story. But in this story, there will only be one character. Nobody else. Just one character. And I want you to pay attention to what is happening to this character. Uh, what does he look like in the beginning? And then what does he look like at the end of the story? Okay, so pay close, atten close attention. Here we go. This is called... Butterfly, butterfly. Okay. Butterfly egg, butterfly egg. What will you be? And there is the butterfly egg. What will it be? I will be a caterpillar. Soon you will see. So he's saying he will turn into a caterpillar. And he does. Now, caterpillar, caterpillar, what will you be? So what do you think the caterpillar will turn into next? I will be a chrysalis. Soon you will see. So the caterpillar, he's inside of the chrysalis now. This is called a chrysalis, okay? And the caterpillar becomes a pupa and he will be inside of the chrysalis for about two weeks. So now we ask, chrysalis, chrysalis, what will you be? You see his little head poking out? So what do you think he's going to turn into? What is he going to transform into? What comes out of this chrysalis? He was a, an egg, then a caterpillar, and then a pupa inside of the chrysalis. And what does he become? I will be a butterfly. Soon you will see. So in the end, this is what he became. So can you tell me, this one character, what was he in the beginning? Do you remember? He wasn't a butterfly in the beginning. He wasn't a caterpillar in the beginning. What was he? Well, he was an egg, okay? So this is what, this is how they start their life cycle, okay? First, they, a butterfly will come and will lay some eggs on a leaf of a plant. And there you see a few of them. So let's just look at one egg. That one egg, when it's ready, a caterpillar will come out of there. Okay. And then the caterpillar will start to eat and eat and eat. He will even eat the, the egg that he came out of. He will eat the, he will eat the leaf that he was on and he would just keep eating and eating, eating lots and lots of leaves until he's a little bit bigger and heavier. And then once he's ready, he will stop eating and then he will make his chrysalis. So he will go inside the chrysalis and he'll go in there for lots of days and he becomes a pupa. When he's in there, he's called the pupa. He's not a caterpillar anymore. And so the chrysalis, okay, chrysalis is this outer protective part here. And the pupa is the little guy who's inside. So once he's ready to come out of the chrysalis, he will come out a butterfly. You see? And these are the, there's many, many different kinds of butterflies, different colors, um, but they all have the same life cycle. So now what you guys are going to do, like we did for the plant one, remember we did the plant life cycle? We are going to do the butterfly life cycle, okay? So you are going to, again, do your graphic organizer, this diagram here, and up here will be the first thing. So what are you gonna put in there first? 
I think you should put the eggs, okay? The egg is what comes first. And then the egg will turn into, well, what will come out of the egg will be the caterpillar. And then the caterpillar will eat and eat and eat. And then when he's ready, he will go and make a chrysalis and be inside of the chrysalis. And he becomes a pupa. And when he's ready to come out of there, he will come out a beautiful butterfly. And then the butterfly will have babies and the butterfly will go and lay some eggs on a leaf and then it starts all over again. And then the other butterfly will lay eggs and it will grow up. And when it's a butterfly, it will lay eggs and it grows up. So that is the life cycle of the butterfly. And so this is what you're going to do. Okay? Dos padres, este va a ser el trabajo de hoy. Los niños van a dibujar esto. O ustedes les pueden ayudar si quieren, pero um, si estuvieran en clase conmigo, ellos solitos lo harían. So, um, no es necesario que ustedes lo hagan. Ellos lo pueden hacer. Uh, no, no importa que... Ustedes piensen que no vaya a salir muy bonito, no sé. Recuerden que si estuvieran en clase, yo no les haría esto. Ellos lo harían ellos mismos. So, le pueden dar ch chance a ellos que, que traten de hacerlo como yo. Y después, hablen con ellos, que ellos vayan entendiendo que el, el primero de acá va a ser el, un huevo, el egg. Luego de ahí, la oruga, the caterpillar. Y les estoy dis platicando y diciendo que la oruga va, come, 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 come bastante desde que nace hasta se come el huevo donde nació y empieza a comer las hojas, plantas, plantas, come las, todas las hojitas que pueda hasta que esté listo y, perdón, en español no sé cómo se llama, pero en inglés hace su chrysalis, él se va a convertir en una pupa y ahí va a quedar unos 15 días cuando está listo sale la mariposa. A butterfly. Y de nuevo una mariposa va a ir a, a dejar unos huevitos y todo empieza de nuevo. Que okay, es el life cycle. Okay. Um, eso es el trabajo de hoy. Como siempre, si tienen una pregunta, una duda, mándenme un mensaje. Y creo que es todo. No hasta que vean, así es como yo lo tengo hecho. Voy a dejar poner una foto también para que vean. Pero um, platiquen con los niños que ellos eh, entiendan el proceso de esto. Ok. Well, thank you, students. Gracias, padres. Um, espero que les guste la actividad. Espero que los niños les guste dibujarlo y que vayan entendiendo eh, lo, pues, lo que les estoy enseñando. Ok, pues que tengan un buen día y ahí se cuidan. Adiós. Bye, students.